Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. I've got a new story about American toll lanes and highway systems and government contracts and all that good stuff. Turns out we're getting shafted by our own government. So this is out of the Charlotte Observer. Mecklenburg commissioners want I-77 toll lanes contract drop. Did you know that U.S. highway systems are being sold to foreign companies? Did you know that many major toll roads in the United States profit only foreign companies? Did you also know that if local government wants to terminate the contracts signed with these foreign companies, they are forced to pay substantial amounts of money in order to complete the contracts? And guess who pays for that? Me and you, Mr. Taxpayer, that's right. And this is true. This is what's going on in North Carolina. Mecklenburg County Commissioners approved a resolution asking Governor Pat McCrory to end a contract with I-77 Mobility Partners, which is owned by Centra, which is owned by Ferrovial. Yes, I just said all of that. In order for the county to cut ties with this multinational conglomerate corporation, the state would be forced to pay upwards of $100 million dollars even if ground has never been broken. Well, the Republican commissioner, Jim Puckett, says the State Department of Transportation can complete the highway project on I-77 between Charlotte and Mooresville using $100 million from gas tax money, money which is specifically allocated for such improvements. That's why we pay a gas tax. The commissioner also says that if the state allows I-77 mobility to place the foreign-owned toll road, it would cost the taxpayers around $240 million. So it sounds to me like the taxpayers are going to get screwed either way. However, Trevor Fuller voted against ending the contract because it would cost the state $100 million for nothing more than saying, hey guys, we changed our mind. The toll plan, which is to place express lanes between Charlotte and Mooresville, would give motorists the option of hopping on the tow lanes, which arguably will be faster and less congested, but the reason for the commissioner's change of mind is due to a 50-year clause that they found in the final contract. Apparently, they don't like reading contracts any more than an American does. So, if the contract was completed, those roads would be owned, operated, and all of the toll money would be paid to a foreign corporation with headquarters in Madrid, Spain, for the next 50 years. That means the U.S. taxpayers would be footing the, the bill for foreign corporate profits over the next 50 years. And many Americans don't realize that some major roads have been sold to companies like Centra, which is wholly owned by a, a completely foreign company. Centra currently owns the Chicago Skyway, the Indiana East-West Toll Road, and Texas State Highway 130, uh, segments 5 and 6, apparently. But uh, Texan Rick Perry wants Centra to take over the construction of a road that would span the entire state from top to the coast. Uh, of course, a lot of he has a lot of people that disagree with that, but I'm sure he's got ties into that company somehow. He's probably on the board of directors or, you know, owns stock in it, whatever. You know how these things go. But, you know, do we really want to be parceling off our land to foreign companies? If we're going to allow private companies to own the roads we drive on, wouldn't we much prefer those companies be owned and operated solely within the United States border? Wouldn't it be most wise to contract construction of highways to local construction companies instead of multinational corporations they don't keep their profits within the U.S., which makes every single dollar that we spend on a toll road go to another company, uh, to another country, wholly unrelated to the United States. If you've got an answer to any one of these questions, if you'd like to answer any one of these questions that I've posed here today, go ahead and answer that in the comment section below. Uh, hit the like button and share this, because a lot of people just don't know that this is going on. They don't realize that our country and our infrastructure is being sold off and not even to the to the lowest bidder it's being sold off to whoever you know 
comes at them, I guess, with the most campaign donations. This has been going on for quite a while, but whenever it comes down to, hey, we just want to get out of this contract, and then a foreign corporation says, well, going to cost you $100 million to change your mind, there's something completely and totally wrong with that. If they haven't broken ground at all, we shouldn't be on the hook for a dime. And as far as I'm concerned, we can tell those foreign corporations to go F themselves and try to do their business in another country, which they do. I mean, these people run in Canada, they run in France, they run in Germany, they, they've got tow roads all over the place. It's a very profitable business because once they build the road, they can raise the price to whatever they want it to be. And that's the reason it is, quote, politically expedient to allow these foreign companies to purchase these roads because then the government doesn't have a say in what the price of the toll road is. Then the government can say, oh, well, that's not us that's raising the cost of driving on the roads. That's these other guys. We don't have a say in that. They own it. We don't own it. Those roads you're driving on? Yeah, we don't own it. So what's to say that that these companies don't just tear up the road that they built and then paid for? Because it doesn't take very long for them to actually pay for this back when using tow money. For anybody that's driven through Chicago, you know, every five or six miles you come across a tow lane. You know, it is expensive to drive through the middle of Chicago. I believe it's the Skyway. I used to drive a semi truck, and when I'd go through there, I mean, it would cost me fifty bucks just to get from one side of the Chicago to the other, if not more. If you disagree with our government selling off our land and our roads to a foreign company, then share this post so that we can make sure that everybody knows what's going on, so that the next time one of these tow roads just popped up, we can look at it and say, well, is this a government tow road or is this a foreign company tow road? And if it's a foreign company tow road, we can tell every one of those representatives to go stick it right up, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for today. This is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Get this message out. Peace.